Hello everyone and best morning for you. Today we are going to talk about unit 4 for the aim high and it's called an award for bravery. But before we start, we should know what is the meaning of award. Award means an official prize. Yes, it's an official prize like the prizes, like the awards we give for the best actors. And bravery means to be brave. Yes, it's the name of being brave. Now let's move on and see the new words today. Oh, but before we go to the new words, we must know about someone. His name is John Bamford, and he is the hero of this unit. He received the highest award for bravery in the UK. Now let's move on to the words. Number one, exceptional. Yes, exceptional. And it means unusually good. And for this, I can say, I made an exceptional effort during the exam. And yes, finally I got the full mark. Number two, dreadful. Yes, dreadful. And it means very bad and unpleasant. And for this we can say, Oh my God, today it's a very dreadful weather. Now let's move on to number three. And number three is intense. Yes, intense. And it means very strong. And for this we can say, we were all suffering from the intense heat. And here it means the very strong heat, the hot weather. Now to number four, and it's called dazed. Yes, again, dazed. And it means totally confused and unable to think. And for this, we have an example and saying, she looked dazed and frightened let's move on to the, to the next one it's panic stricken yet it's a compound adjective from two words panic and stricken so the adjective the adjective here is panic stricken and it means frightened and unable to think for this we are going to say Lucy was suddenly panic-stricken. She, uh, she saw something and she is now panic-stricken. Number six, it's gripping. And it means so fascinating and holding your attention. And for this we are going to say, my father told me a gripping story of a firefighter. Now let's move on to horrific, yes, horrific, and it means very bad and unpleasant. Again, we can say, yesterday he had a horrific accident. Now let's move on to number eight, and please, horrified, yes, again, horrified. And it means shocked and frightened. Yes, he had a shock and now he is shocked and frightened. And for this we have an example and we are going to say he was horrified when he discovered the conditions in which they lived. They had a bad life and when he knew he was so shocked and frightened. Now let's go and move on to number nine. And it's called distressed. Yes, distressed. And it means unhappy and upset. Yes, unhappy and upset. And for this, we are going to say she was in a distressed state when she came to see me. Number 10, and it's heroic. Yes, heroic. And it means so brave. And for this, we are going to say 
He made a heroic attempt to rescue the children. He was so brave and he rescued the children. Number 11, it's called agonizing. Yes, again, agonizing. And it means so painful or something that causes pain. And we have an example here. And we should say he had a long and agonizing battle with cancer. Let's move on to number 12. And it's called terrified. Yes, again, please. Terrified. And it means frightened and unable to think. Yes, for this we can say John was so terrified after seeing the fire. Now let's move on to number 13 and it's called unconscious. Yes, unconscious. And it means seeming to be asleep because of an injury. He had an accident and he got unconscious. And we have an example here. We will say John was almost unconscious from the heat. Number 14, it's exhausted. Yes, exhausted. And it means very tired. Yes, very tired. And for this I can say I was so exhausted after work. Number 14 and to the last one and it's called countless. Yes, countless. And it means very many. And we have an example here. After countless operations, he finally recuperated. And please note here that dreadful gives the same meaning of horrific. And panic striking gives the same meanings of terrified and horrified. Now let's move on. We have extended vocabulary. And before we talk about these words, we must know that all the previous words were adjectives. But now we are going here to talk about the nouns. Number one, generosity. Yes, generosity. And it means being generous to people. I give so much to the people. And for this, we can say his generosity helped the hospital to do more and more achievements. Number two, it's modest. Yes, modest. And the, the noun of this adjective is modesty. So modest means humble and treat all people nicely. For this, we are going to say Mr. Ayman is a modest man. Let's move on to the next one. It's courage. Yes, courage. And it means being courageous and brave. And we can say his courage helped him to save the children. Let's move on to the next one. It's called perseverance. Yes, again, perseverance. And it means paying proper attention to a task. To make a task, to make a task, or I'm sorry, to do a task with the proper attention. And for this, we can say with perseverance and much study, you can get the full mark. Now let's move on to cowardice. Yes, and it's called cowardice. And cowardice here means the lacking of courage. And the adverb of it is cowardly. We can say he was so coward and he escaped, but his friend didn't do it. 
and we can also say thanks to his cowardice all the people were frightened or we can say due to his cowardice the people were so frightened now let's move on to intelligence and it means the ability to understand and to be an intelligent person and we can say that Mark is known for his intelligence and now after we finish talking about the words we are going to talk about the adjectives the adjectives are words that describe a person or a thing like when I tell you this is a big toy so the adjective here is big because it describes the toy as it big and for one more example we can say he is brave and the adjective here it's brave and it describes him now we are going to talk about the adjectives ending in ed and ing let's move on the ed adjectives describe how a person feels about something when i tell you they are bored that means there is something which caused this boredom and they made me bored and i'm saying they are bored so the adjective here it's bored and it refers to them they are so bored the next one i'm really annoyed i can't find my camera yes the adjective here is annoyed and it describes my feeling because i can't find my camera now let's go to the ing adjectives which describe a person or a thing which causes a feeling and we must note here that for now we focus on something which causes a feeling for a person which causes a feeling when i tell you the film is boring the adjective here it's boring and it, re it refers to the film that made me bored and when i'm telling you this boy is annoying he is a person and he causes the annoying feelings for me so i am telling you this boy is annoying it's not the same as this boy is annoyed when i'm telling you that this boy is annoyed that means he feels annoyed but when i'm telling you the boy is annoying he causes the feeling of annoyed and for the second one i'm telling you i don't like this game it's boring here the adjective is boring and it refers to the game so again please we must focus about the ed adjectives and they refer to the person who feels about something on the other hand we have the ing adjectives that describes the thing or the person who causes a feeling now let's move on in talking about adjectives we have two kinds of adjectives we have a, a short adjective and we have a long adjective how to discover them for the short adjective it's pronounced for one syllable it's like big yes it's for one time big and you can't pronounce them the adjectives you can't pronounce them in two times we can't say the egg no and we can also say small not same old so the short adjective is pronounced 
in one syllable. But the long action, the long adjectives are pronounced for more than one syllable. Yes, for more than one syllable. It's like talented. We say talented, not for one time. We say talented, talented, two syllables. And here we have the comparatives. Comparative mean to compare between two things, like two persons or two things. And for this, we add ER to the short adjective. And after this, we add then. Big, it will be bigger than. And small, it will be, yes, smaller than. But for the long adjectives, we add more or less. We add more or less before the adjective, and after the adjective, we use then. It's like talented, it will be more talented than. And for the regular adjectives, it's like good, we don't say good, we say better. And for bad, we say worse. And for far, we say further or farther. Now, let's take some examples about the comparatives. For the long adjective and for the short adjective. For the short adjective, we can say the red jacket is cheaper than the blue one. Yes, we say the red jacket is cheaper than the blue one. Here we are comparing between the red jacket and the blue jacket. Yes, we are comparing between two things. And the adjective here is a short adjective, cheap. Yes, we pronounce it for one syllable and cheap. So it will be cheaper. And after the adjective, we put then, so it will be cheaper than. And it will be, for the end, it will be the red jacket is cheaper than the blue one. Now let's move on to the long adjective. And we can say, Muhammad is more talented than Ahmed. Here we are comparing between two persons. We are comparing between Muhammad and Ahmed. They are persons. And the adjective here is a long adjective, talented. So before the adjective, we can put more or less. And after the adjective, we can put then, so we said, Muhammad is more talented than Ahmed. And for the regular adjectives, I can tell you, 4B is better than 5B. Or I can say, the weather today is worse than the weather of yesterday. Or I am telling you, Zagadik is farther than Cairo. Now let's move on to the superlatives. And for superlatives or superlative adjectives, we add the in front of the short adjective and add EST after it. And here it's especially for the short adjective. We say long, not too long. And we say tall, not too old. I told you before that the comparatives is to compare between two persons or two things. Here, the superlatives, we compare between one thing and a group. I'm telling you that the river is the longest the Nile, I'm sorry, the Nile is the longest river in Africa. So, as we said, we add the in front of the short adjective, and at the end of the adjective, I add est. So, long is going to be the longest, and tall, it's going to be the tallest. 
And please note that if the adjective is long, we must add the word most or least. Like we have dripping or talented, so we will say the most dripping, the least dripping, or the most talented and the least talented. To give some examples, we are going to say Abdullah is the tallest boy in the class. Or we can say Muhammad is the tallest boy in the class. For the long adjectives, I'm telling you Muhammad is the most talented boy in the class. Or I can tell you our father told us about the most gripping story of this firefighter. Now let's move on and see what's going on. For the irregular superlative forms like good, it also be the best. Yes, it will be the best. I can say Muhammad is the best boy in this class. Or I can say Muhammad is the worst boy in this class. And we have here to notice something that less and the least are the opposite meaning to more and the most. I can tell you, Muhammad is more talented than Ahmed. It means Ahmed is less talented than Muhammad. And I am saying, Muhammad is the most talented boy in the class that means we can also say Muhammad is the least talented boy in the class now let's move on to not as adjective as or as adjective as we can use as adjective as to something to say that it equals to someone. When I tell you, Sarah is as intelligent as him, that means they are equal in intelligence. They have the same intelligence rate. And it equals Sarah is as intelligent as he is. Yes, for the first one, I can add the object pronoun as him. Sarah is as intelligent as him. Or I can add the sentence, he is like Sarah, she is. When I tell you that Sarah is not as intelligent as him, that means Sarah is less intelligent than him. Now let's move on and go to two and enough. Two, it comes before the adjective and enough comes after an adjective. When I tell you that jacket is too small for him, that means it's not big enough. And when I tell you the tea is too hot to drink, and the tea is hot enough to drink. Now we can notice the difference between the two sentences. And please write them down. I'm telling you, tea or the tea is too hot to drink. That means I cannot drink this tea. And when I'm telling you, the tea is hot enough to drink, that means, yes, I can drink the tea. But please note that two comes before the adjective and enough comes after the adjective. Now let's move on and try to answer some exercises. Now choose the correct answer from the words inside the brackets. Number one, my brother has an unconscious, exceptional, exhausted, Days talent for mathematics. Again, my brother has an 
unconscious, exceptional, exhausted days talent for mathematics. And now you will take your three seconds. And yes, the answer is my brother has an exceptional talent for mathematics. Now let's move on to number two. Robert made a panic-stricken, heroic, intense, agonizing attempt to rescue his sister. Again, Robert made a panic-stricken, heroic, intense, agonizing attempt to rescue his sister. So, you will take your three seconds. And yes, the answer is... Robert made a heroic attempt to rescue her sister. Now let's move on to number three. We were distressed, outstanding, confusing, agonizing when we heard the bad news. So, it will take your three seconds. And yes, the answer is, we were distressed when we heard the bad news and we mustn't forget that distressed means so upset number four when Rosie cut her arm the wound was countless grabbing agonizing or distressed again when Rosie cut her arm the wound was countless grabbing agonizing or distressed now we will take your three seconds. So the answer is going to be yes. When Rosie cut her arm, the wound was agonizing. Number five, we were thrilled, disappointed, interested, boring that the school trip was cancelled. So you will take your three seconds. And the answer is going to be yes. We were disappointed that the school trip was cancelled. And disappointed here also means upset. Now let's move on to number six. I was surprising, mesmerized, annoyed, bewildered by the painting. It's so attractive. Again, I was surprising, mesmerized, annoyed, bewildered by the painting. It's so attractive, it took all of my attention. And now we have here two new words. We have the first word, mesmerized, and it means fascinated. And we also have bewildered, and it means confused. So please write them down. So again the sentence, I was surprising, mesmerized, annoyed, bewildered by the painting. It's so attractive. So the answer is going to be, you will take your three seconds. And the answer is, yes, I was mesmerized by the painting. It's so attractive. Now let's move on to number seven. And was exhausted, frightened, dazed, terrified after running the marathon. Again, and was exhausted, frightened, dazed, terrified after running the marathon. So you will take your three seconds. And here we go. The answer is going to be yes, exhausted. So we will say and was exhausted after running the marathon. Now let's move on. Again, we need to choose the correct answer from the words inside brackets. But this time it's about the grammar. Number one, Andy isn't as, as his sister. If you didn't notice that after as, we use the adjective without any change. 
I told you before, Salma isn't as talented as Muhammad. So talented here is the adjective, the pure adjective, and it's with no addings. So here, I'm going to say Andy isn't as good, better, best, worse as his sister. You will take your three seconds. So the answer is going to be yes. Andy isn't as good as his sister. That means Andy is worse than his sister. Now let's move on to number two. Which is most, more, least, little exciting? Parachuting or bungee jumping? Here we must notice that we are comparing between two things or two sports. So it's going to be a comparative adjective. And with a comparative adjective, you know what you need to take. You will take your three seconds and we're going to do, go back again. And yes, you are a good guesser and the answer is more. Which is more exciting? Here exciting, if you know it's a long adjective and it's not a short adjective. So we will take more or less because we have comparative adjectives. So we will take more or less and here we will see that we have more. And we will say which is more exciting, bar shooting or bungee jumping. Now let's move on to number three. Footballers are the wealthier, the wealthiest, more wealthy, most wealthy sports people in the world. Again, footballers are the wealthier, wealthiest, more wealthy, most wealthy sports people in the world. And yes, you will take your three seconds. And actually, the answer is going to be yes, the wealthiest. So we will say, footballers are the wealthiest sports people in the world. Number four, thanks to his education, meanness, generosity, patience, the hospital now has enough money to stay open. He gave them money, so he is so generous. And the answer is going to be, yes. Thanks to his generosity, the hospital now has enough money to stay open. Now let's move on to number five. With perseverance and patience, modest, patience, meanness, you will be successful. Now before you start asking yourself, what will you choose? Please note that and the word that makes what before it equals to what after it. So here we need to choose a noun. But which noun? I don't know. So you will take your three seconds to think about the answer. Yes, you got it. So we'll say with perseverance and patience you will be successful. Now to the last sentence and number six. Tom is very loyalty, loyal, Courage, courageous to his friends. Yes, you will take your three seconds. And the answer is going to be yes. Tom is very loyal to his friends. And thank you for watching.